Raising a child of the 1980s, I remember being constantly overwhelmed with the amount of new toys introduced every year. In fact, I remember my cousin owned a particular line of dolls that smelled like fruit and looked kind of funky. They were called strawberry shortcake dolls, and they reminded me a lot of hippies except with nicer rags. And just like anything else in the 1980s, if you got popular enough, you got your own cartoon and video games. Just like these. What can I say? I'm a sucker for redheads. Anywho, the fad wore off, and Strawberry Shortcake was left to be forgotten. However, in the early 2000s, somebody with apparently brilliant marketing skills thought, Hey, let's reboot this franchise. More than once. Yeah. They rebooted the hell out of this girl. Like she was an old Packard Bell. Holy shit. Well, besides that, she did get reimagined. In the 15 years of that first reboot, the characters went through a number of... redesigns. I feel kind of dirty just talking about it. So today I'm going to review two episodes from the 2009 cartoon series. In reality, I thought I was watching a direct-to-DVD special. I feel like one of those grandmothers who got conned into getting transmorphers for their grandchild when they were trying to get transformers. Fuck you people. And I'm probably not the only one who thought this because when I look at the packaging, there's, you know, ash burns on this fucking thing. So I'm not the only one who was pissed off at the product. Well, I hope you got your insulin ready. Because this sugary sweet bullshit... We might get into a sugar coma. Let's get this shit over with. Like I give a damn about the theme song. Pass. Oh my god, who whispers like that? I know it's a cartoon, but you don't have to cartoon all this shit up. Holy shit, this is so sugary, I feel like I just snorted two dozen pixie sticks! I can't think of anything more fun than spending the night with my very best friend, Strawberry Short- <laughs> <laughs> Silly Puffcake, you interrupted me! Rainbow, I thought I was your very best friend! Y you are Angel Cake! Oh, please don't tell me this is our conflict! But you just said Strawberry was your very best friend. Please, Angel, let Rainbow finish. Since you two are such good friends, have your sleepover without me. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, leave then. I don't care. Beat feet. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord splits you. Oh, no, Angel. We planned this together, the three of us. And I made this shortcake just for you. Well, I have a good story to tell. I do love your shortcake. My god, the sexual overtones are palpable! Look out! Bitch got a knife! I'm not listening. Before today, you said you were my best friend. This is the quality voice acting I'm getting, huh? Wow, this is almost on Dingo's level. Shit. I hope you like my story. It's about someone who got their feelings hurt when no one meant to hurt them. It's the story of John Wick! Once upon a time, there was a beautiful kingdom. Heard it. Seen it. Fucked it. Look! I see Princess Strawberry Rose! Christ! Cardboard could outact this line read!
Um, silly question I have here. Maybe it's just me being out of line, but where the fuck are the parents? So four of the five winged horrors bestow upon the child the elements of harmony when... Yeah, remember the name! Why wasn't I invited? Shh, you're scaring the princess! Um, I say again, where the fuck are the parents? But you got invitations, why didn't I? Look, please look, you're on the guest list, it's right here! Oh! Hey! That's no way to treat Debbie Gibson! The page had tried, but Brambleberry did not want to listen. Ow! Darn Brambleberry thorns! Hello, Brambleberry fairy! Oh, that reminds me. I need to mow my lawn. When no one answered, she finally gave up, but not without leaving the invitation. Huh. Glad to know Miss Gibson got a gig at FedEx. You're here now. Why not just join the party? I'm not listening! WIPE HER FROM EXISTENCE! Such a pretty baby, so sweet and clever. A prick from a brambleberry thorn and you'll vanish forever! No! You don't mean it! Oh my god, she did! I mean, aside from that caveat... Holy shit, she did! Good dark turn. Fairy day. All Brambleberries in the castle grounds and throughout the kingdom were to be destroyed. The princess grew into a wise, funny, lovely girl who was friend to one and all. <laughs> Brambleberry. On this birthday of Princess Strawberry Rose, the entire kingdom makes merry. Today, may my gift finally be delivered on the thorn of a brambleberry. Damn, talk about serving a cold dish of revenge. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? A new kind of berry? So Princess Dimbulb here discovers a brambleberry, scratches her skin, and, well, the sight of blood makes her pass out. What? The spell had finally been cast. So they set about making the sleeping princess Strawberry Rose as comfortable as possible. Welcome to Comaville, population you! The fairies saw how unhappy everyone was without their princess. She's asleep! She ain't dead! Fucking first world berry problems. They put everyone in the kingdom into a deep dream sleep until they found a way to wake the sleeping princess. Huh? Hmm. Wait, what? Why would you do that? And so time passed and the berry kingdom slumbered. Uh, huh. Well, let's just review this point here because it's worthy of discussion. You have this dumb tart who scratches her hand and sees blood passes out. And it's something you kept from her for reasons that escape me. I don't know why you wouldn't tell her about the Brambleberry plot. Whatever. So, the fairies show up, can't fix it. Not like they, you know, shouldn't have been working on this in the first place. You know, the years that this shit was going on. But whatever. You know you can't fix it, so what's your remedy? Put everybody else to sleep. Because that makes so much sense. And you just say, fuck it. Now you're going to fix the problem. But in the meantime, everyone's in a coma. And I'm imagining all that shit that's laying around there. Not only is it going to continue to grow, but mold will probably end up start growing. I mean, they're sleeping in front of a fucking cake. Shit's going to happen. 
So you've just condemned an entire kingdom to die. Way to fucking go, fuck sticks. A sleep that lasts both day and night. Awaken now from this dreadful plight. Huh? What happened? What? Did it work? Oh my god, the Marge Simpson spell is a success. I was trying something different. I am so sorry, Gingerberry. I'll fix it, I promise. I'll try something different. Now there's a scary thought. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have friends because I'd cut a bitch if that happened to me. Getting drunk and doing research. Wow, they must be grad students. More time passed. Congratulations, the kingdom is dead. Good job. After a long, lonely winter, Brambleberry thought it would cheer her up to once again see the princess under her spell. Yeah, staring at corpses is totally a normal thing to do. Hey, what's going on here? This is supposed to cheer me up. Look at you with your little puppy. You even have faithful friends while you sleep. Bitch! I don't have one friend in the world. <laughs> ah! Whoa. Well, he's dead. Ah! Stop it! Why won't you listen? I've had a very bad day and I never meant to run into you. I, I, I what? Hey, you're smiling. Why, why are you smiling? Actually, I have two questions. The first one is the obvious. Why the fuck are you smiling, you sociopath? And two, why are you at this kingdom? I'm pretty sure you're aware that everybody inside is asleep, if not dead. Oh my god. This explains everything. Why the princess is out of the covers. Oh, you sick Fuck! The prince is a poon hound! Man, better find yourself some therapy or Jesus. Because listening is a very, very good thing. Don't you think, Miss Brambleberry? <sighs> well, of course. Yes, of course. Then why do we not do it so much of the time? I guess the prince's special ability is to be heavy handed. I refuse on principle to listen to a song that's going to tell me how I'm supposed to feel and act. Here, let me spice this song up a little bit. Hit it. One thing to remember as you grow more strong and tall is what you thought was more than true. May not be that way at If we take the time to listen, if we let our friends explain, if we take the time to listen. Dear God, they can't sing. Me too, for attempting to review this horse shit. I feel bad. The princess, she's not the one who didn't invite me. Surely there was a good reason. Didn't you hear why you didn't get invited? <laughs> they said they tried, but I know they didn't. Why? Because, well, because. Sound logic to me. Let these brambleberry hating bastards sleep forever. I went by your briar patch on the way here. It's really thorny. Keeps out burglars? And anyone up to no good. I'm an introvert, but damn, girl, you got me beat. You mean... <gasps> I thought people didn't like me. You cold farted itch. The enchanted sleep now comes undone. Awake, my princess. Bring back your joy and fun. Princess, please wake up. It didn't work. Well, this took a turn for the awesome with Regicide! Let's think. Maybe you just need some help. The help of good friends. You can start with the good friend in my pantaloons. Oh, it's Brambleberry. What's she doing oh, here? Oh my! You tried to tell me what happened with my invitation to Princess Rose's party. But I wouldn't listen. And now... I tried to undo the spell, but it didn't work. But if we all tried working together, what do you say? 
you have successfully fucked up an entire monarchical structure over a lost invitation. Who in their right goddamn mind is going to help? I was thinking how much I miss you. Of course we forgive you. Well, uh, let bygones be bygones, I guess. Jesus. You're all trying to get sainthood or something. And the castle awakened. Uh, it was like time had stood still. The cake was as fresh as the day it was baked. <gasps> wow, nice line there, trying to save the now moldy food. It's Huckleberry. I think I just took a nap. Did I miss the party? <laughs> no, princess. The party starts right now. Pumps and a pump. Give me the girls with the pumps and a pump. Uh. Look at the castle. That's my fault, too. <laughs> so, I love gardening, and I don't know a thing about growing brambleberries. Would you teach me? <gasps> I don't understand. Me neither. And on, Brambleberry never shut out a friend's apology, and she listened well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rainbow, I'm listening now. What I was trying to say before is... You have smoked yourself retarded. I'm thinking about cutting my hair off really short. But you have such pretty hair. I like how it looks. But it's such a nuisance. It gets in my eyes when I'm sailing. <laughs> well, what do you think, Strawberry? You know what I think? <laughs> I think that reminds me of another story. That's not a fucking answer. There was a princess named Rap. Rap? That's an odd name. I've cut bitches for saying less! Once upon a time, there was a princess named Rapunzel. Beep, boop, 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 beep. Man, this is the worst R2-D2 cosplay ever. No, shit. Ow. Fuck. <sighs> Rapunzel's parents ruled a very grand kingdom with a wonderful castle <laughs> and a harbor full of ships. Why is everyone laughing? Are they high on the goofballs? <laughs> Word of advice. Quit your fucking laughing. Everyone's going to think you're mentally ill. Or at least a bad Joker cosplayer. So they searched far and wide for the best teacher in all the realm and found Professor Grapes. I guess it was between her and Johnny Manziel. I see nothing wrong with this child. She's obviously a ninja in training. Mom, they've got my mom. No! The king and queen hated to send Rap away, even for a little while. But they knew she would learn to be an excellent ruler one day. She might get graped in the mouth a couple times, but that is the price you pay for discipline. When Rap saw the ladder, she thought her new home away from home was going to be really fun. Wow, so many books! Fucking paradise! I found you at last! Rap soon found out this princess training was very serious business. Oh shit, she's a JonBenet Ramsey in training. Each morning, they studied a chapter from The Rearing of Royalty. In the afternoons, they moved on to more traditional royal lessons. Yeah, here's the list. <laughs> Hello to you, too. Out of the blue, Someone equally colorful came into Rap's life. I'm gonna call you Triple Ripple, since you remind me of my favorite ice cream colors. Oh, girly, you need to get out more! Professor Grapes loved having such a smart and curious student. But she often wondered when rhinoplasty would be invented. Rapunzel, are you ready to learn? Actually, Professor Grapes, I'm already learning! <gasps> There's a new ship in the harbor. Can you tell me its size? Well, this has litigation written all over it. Get down off that roof! No, wait! 
I'll help you. No! No! Fatality. Hi, Triple Ripple. I thought it'd be easy being a good princess, but it's not easy at all. Oh, for the love of fuck's sake! You know, for a production company that was too cheap to hire singers, they sure as fuck love to write in these songs. Knock it the fuck off! I'd rather listen to the Dingo original numbers that they have, and that's all in German, and I can't fucking understand it, and shit, their dubbing isn't much better. <sighs> I mean, really, really try, I always succeed. So, if I really try to be the very best princess ever, I can do it. I will do it. Then Professor Grapes and my parents will be happy, and I'll be the best ruler this land's ever seen. Whoa. Wait. Did you just succumb to your own psychosis? Good lord. These bastards are so cheap they couldn't afford singers or writers. Five times four is twenty. Multiplication can be fun. Do one wrong, go back to one. Oh shit, she snapped like a rubber band. Can Who be is of that? Fun, especially when you're almost done. We should put her out of her misery. Get my 50 cow. I made strawberry, and this is Squire Huckleberry. We heard your, uh, singing. We will pay you to stop it. This? <laughs> the name's Rap. Just Rap. Whatever you say, rap. Don't question her authority. Just smile, and we might get through this alive. No time at all. They were best of friends. That is one bitch and weave. Oh, do you play too? I'm terrible. Worse than terrible. Here's something you'll like. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Professor Grapes! You dried up bitch! Oh fuck, it's the beginning of Blues Traveler! This is great! Rap loved libraries! Here's a thought that I just had. Maybe it makes sense to you. Um. You have a rope. WHY DON'T YOU GET THE FUCK OUT OF THE TOWER?! I mean, holy shit, there's no reason for this pointless sequestering if this is what you have! Hell, get out, leave, find the authorities, and get this bitch arrested! It's insane what she's doing, there's no reason why anybody would recommend her for anything other than child abuse, because that's clearly the shit that she's doing. But, you know, that's just a suggestion that I have. But, you know, you, you do what you do. Whatever the writers told you to do, just, yeah, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go do that. She checked out books so that Rap could devote hours to researching. <gasps> Thank you, Maid Strawberry! In the last few months, Professor Grapes had been pleased by Rap's progress. Months? Months? Are you serious? Months in this tower. Where does she bathe her shit? Oh my god, this is beyond cruel and unusual. Um, you might want to take my advice from the last time I did the live cut in and uh, really call the police. Somebody. This is fucked up. Who said you could have friends? I never had any friends and I turned out fine. You kids are spoiled. Oh. The ocean. Rap was very excited. Mom, they've got my mom. Rap knew Professor Grapes was doing what she thought was best, but Rap kept thinking. How on this deserted island will I ever learn to be a great ruler? 
Good God, at this rate, this poor girl's gonna go batshit insane. Has no one ever in the history of this woman's whatever questioned her methods? Once even? Professor Graves knew nothing about the tide, since it wasn't anything important for royals to know. But Rao could see she wasn't getting any closer to shore. She had to take matters in her own hands. All Rap could think about was saving her teacher. I'll let the old prune die. And when did this become Breath of the Wild? Don't worry, Professor Grapes. I can't get us back where we started. But once I locate the North Star, I can steer us all the way round to Royal Bay. Professor Grapes was speechless. Because they didn't have enough money to pay the voice actress. At dawn, Rap sailed them into the Royal Bay as she'd promised. Ahoy, everybody! It was a very happy homecoming. <laughs> <laughs> Mama! Papa! Even happier for Rap and her parents. Um, um... How did they get word of this? Did it carry your pigeons or something? I know the girl don't have no smartphone to text some shit. Because if I did, I'd fucking say, hey, the crazy bitch put me in a tower and I need rescuing. But here we are. And by the by, this is just a design thing on my part because I kind of care about animation. Why are we showing the parents' faces? I mean, when I watched Muppet Babies and never showed Nanny's face, they never showed anything above Nanny's socks because children, I guess. But what's the rationale here? Did you not afford to design a face? Or, I don't know, maybe the parents are horrible monsters or giant berry heads. <laughs> Her parents were very, very proud. How can you tell? Here, Professor, your textbook. Thank you, dear girl. I know how much it means to you. You warp skank bitch! Go fix your pig nose! I just want to say I'm sorry for trying to hold you back. Why? You and make your spirit sing. Don't let anybody tell you being different makes you weak. Like you did the entire time? I'm going to donate this to the museum. Are you sure? Oh, yes. That's the right place for it. Right along with all the other outdated notions. Hell, I'll donate myself. I'm as outdated as Betamax tapes. Rap knew Professor Grapes was a very fine teacher. Rap insisted she be promoted to head teacher at the castle. Good morning. <clears throat> Rap? So... We just proved that this whole thing was a giant waste of time. Because we could have just circumvented the whole thing right here. Alright. And every day when Professor Grace was done teaching, it was her turn to be the student. it all off. Can I try some braiding tricks Ginger Snap taught me? Sure. I like braids too. Good. I'll braid both of you. I think you're gonna love them. We won't show that, of course, because budget. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. Go, go back. Go, go back. Just go the fuck back. You couldn't animate the fucking smoke? What the hell? Cheap isn't even the word for this shit. This is more like a cutesy version of Dingo Pictures. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I need bourbon. <laughs> or at least no duels. At least feign that I'm getting drunk. <sighs> there you have it. Strawberry shortcake. Happily ever after. Can't say I was disappointed, because that would mean I had expectations, and as far as I can tell, mine were... here. But, I'm not that familiar with what 
the 1980s version of the cartoon was, but I do recall that it had a little bit more going for it. Like, there was an actual antagonist and shit. And maybe a little bit more drama. I mean, there was that guy named the Pie Man who was this gangly-looking fuck who always wanted the girl's berries. So, if anything, it was this cautionary tale to look out for the world's pedo bears. So, I guess it was a public service announcement for a series child predators so i guess it had that going for it pieman is watching her every move in his magic pie tin <laughs> yeah everything's very wonderful eh she doesn't suspect a thing the perfect time to attack berry bird away steal me berries for my pies <laughs> But this doesn't have any of that. It reminds me of My Little Pony in that era between the first run of the show and Friendship is Magic. There's a lot of sugary, saccharine, heavy-handed insults to the audience of how you're supposed to act and be. Because it's for little girls. Fuck them. They don't need anything but bright colors and giggling. As the writers sure as fuck like to do in this piece of shit. God, oh, fucking mighty. And on top of that, I mean, the budget is so bad. It's, it looks a lot like good time slash jet lag production levels. And speaking of laughter, God, there are times when these voice actors make the English dubs from Dingo Pictures look competent. And I don't throw that around lightly. They really didn't give a shit. If this was the result, I'd rather have 65 episodes in this format than watch another one in this. Let me give you an example of how great this is. And you're supposed to match shit up um, of the Strawberry Shortcake figures and make it work. And if you do it right, you get a good song. If you do it wrong, you get... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I I think you just keep going. Can you keep going? Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go make a highlight reel of the PS2 game to close me out here. Why? Cause you're all my very best friends. I got what? I want to. the birds. Oh, fuck. Damn. The, Jesus Christ. Chill your shit. <laughs> Chill your fucking shit. God damn it. Get away. <laughs> God damn. This is bullshit. <laughs> this is such bullshit. It's like we. This game should be over. We solved the fucking dream factory. Fuck you! <laughs> Just honest to God, fuck everything and everyone. Fuck the tornado. Oh, look! He got me more horse shit! Thank you! I love- I'm a materialist whore! Uh, oh God, what the <laughs> fuck? No! No! So Eric is just getting all enthused with just, yeah, fall down, break your ass, see if I care. It sounds like sounds like great parenting from you. Yeah, hey, go ahead, do whatever, break your ass, I don't care. <laughs> Won't do that again, now, will you? <laughs> so done. Oh. Eric, Eric's actually happy to have this shit done. He wasn't even playing it. Nope. I, think, I think I just made it worse for you, didn't it? Almost. Just, almost. Like, yeah. oh god, I had to sit and watch this sort of shit. Just sit here and, like, stare uh, at the ceiling. You can't say awesome because it's, it's not, not very nice. Nope. <laughs>
Well, no, it's not. It's not very nice at all. God damn it! <laughs> I'm glad to see you're feeling punny. That would be awesome. 